Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna be walking you guys through how to join a Windows 10 computer client to an Active Directory domain. Specifically, we'll be using our Windows Server 2022 domain controller that we've used and configured in previous videos. We'll leave some of those links in the description in case you wanna watch some of those first. Before we get into that, if you're interested in genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software, we'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so I think it makes sense to cover a few requisites first. And just so that you guys know what's happening here, uh, we're using Hyper-V and I have my uh, domain controller here on the left. This is again, Windows Server 2022. We already have Active Directory domain services um, configured. Again, we've got videos on all of that stuff. So definitely check the description if you need to watch one of those first. So as I was saying, we have Windows Server 2022 domain controller on the left. And then this is a new virtual machine that I just configured today. And we can see down here in the bottom right, it's Windows 10 Enterprise Evaluation. It's critical that you're running a commercial version of Windows 10 as the home editions are not gonna support Active Directory joining. All right, so once you have your server configured like we do in my case, and you have a client machine running, the next few steps are relatively simple. So we're gonna start by doing some network configuration. Without doing this properly, you won't have any success and I get confused about it all the time. So just follow along and we'll try to make it um, as simple as possible. So we'll go to server first. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and run the CMD here and running IP config forward slash all. And this is gonna give us some information here. So this is showing us our static IP. If you need to make an adjustment to your um, configuration settings here, we can do uh, run ncpa.cpl. Uh, right click into ethernet and hit properties. And then on the internet protocol version four, uh, this is where we have our static IP set. So I have my default gateway, the same as my switch and I've set the static IP here. All right, so we can see that we have that set. So go ahead and X out of that. We wanna make sure that we're also running uh, internet protocol version six. All right, so we'll use this information to properly configure our settings on the client machine. So going into Windows 10, we'll do the same thing. NCPA.CPL, we'll right click into properties here. Again, internet protocol version four. Um, okay, so there's some very important things to not mess up here. Uh, your IP address has to be in the same subnet mask as the server IP address, so 192.168.1. This number cannot have the same value in a uh, domain environment. You can't have two computers with the same domain, so, so make sure that you set a different static IP than is configured on your server. Uh, and then, of course, the primary DNS server needs to be the IP address of our domain controller, which is here. So you can do that, and um, once you have that, you can press OK. And then we'll hit the Windows key, we'll type this PC, go ahead and open that up. And we'll just right click on this PC and hit properties. This may look a little bit different than yours, but you're looking for rename this PC. Uh, I, I believe it'll be like change settings or something like that on the typical Windows 10 control panel. But either way, this uh, pop up here will be the exact same. So we have the computer name and it's currently a uh, work group. And if we click change, I'm simply just gonna rename this uh, to client and then we're gonna select domain. Let me go back over here. Or it's actually, sorry, we can use uh, CMD again. We'll put host name. So server one is the host name. Who am I? Indigo domain slash administrator. This is gonna be important bits of information here in just a second. And then of course we wanna, um, and then of course we wanna properly type in the domain and as we can see in the server manager, local server, it's indigodomain.com. This is our example domain that we've been using. And as soon as we do this, we should be prompted for credentials. We'll talk about some uh, possible troubleshooting if that's not the case for you. So hit enter, All right? And as we can see, that was a success. And basically we, uh, we're gonna take this information here. We need to sign in as indigo domain backslash administrator. We don't wanna be signing in as a local account. We wanna sign in as the domain administrator, uh, which is basically the whole point of what we're doing here. So we'll type indigo domain, oops, sorry, domain, and then make sure to hit backslash administrator and your appropriate password. 
And there we go, we see welcome to the indigo domain.com domain. It's gonna want us to restart the computer, which we can do. Uh, so I'll close out of this. Before we restart, I'm gonna show you guys really quickly what you might wanna check if you're not getting a successful connection. So we'll go back to uh, our run box and do ncpa.cpl. Uh, again, right click into properties. Internet protocol version six goes in front of internet protocol version four, and that can cause some issues. So if that's the case, we can actually uncheck internet protocol version six from the client machine, make sure to leave it running on the server uh, and go ahead and apply that and try again. Um, other issues that I'm aware of would just be again, not properly configuring your DNS server. The DNS server here needs to route to the IP address of your server. And then your IP address needs to be in the same subnet mask and it can't be the exact same as the server. So if you guys have any more questions about any of that, just drop that in the comments and we'll try to help you out as best we can. Uh, but we'll go ahead and restart this and see what, uh, what it looks like. Okay, so we're back in here and this is my profile here, this is Gabe. Now what we actually wanna do here is we don't wanna sign in as Gabe. Again, we don't wanna sign in as a local account, we wanna sign in as the uh, domain administrator. So other user, we can see now that we're signing into Indigo domain and we can put again, indigo domain backslash administrator and our password. There we go, sorry, took me a minute to get that correct. All right, so we are successfully joined to the domain from our Windows 10 client machine. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions about any parts of that process, drop those in the comment section below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Now, if you wanna see the opposite of this video where we show you how to remove a Windows 10 computer from a domain, click the video right here. A like and subscribe goes a long way in supporting the channel and allowing us to make more videos like these. We also highly encourage that any video topic ideas you might have to drop those in the comments and we'll add it to our list. And lastly, again, if you're interested in purchasing Windows Server, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put the links down below. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.